Hi, and welcome to the Hologram DevRaw Weekly Review. That's what we're calling it right now. This is our first one. Yeah. Uh, my name is Chris Gamble. My name is Benster. And we're both in developer relations here at Hologram. I focus mostly on hardware and trying to get new devices online. And yeah, and I so focus more on software and firmware and getting those online devices to actually send data. Right, making them useful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we've been working on a lot of stuff lately. Uh, you know, so our role is mostly to try out new things, try out new platforms, get as many new things on and accessible to you as the user, uh, as, as probably as a developer. If you're not a developer, that's okay. Uh, but you know, just trying to get lots of people trying out cellular and trying it for their projects because we think it's really useful. Yeah, I think what it is is with Hologram, a lot of people uh, don't really know this, but we support a huge amount of hardware. Mm -hmm. uh, and so what we want to do is have a weekly show where we're kind of highlighting what we're doing, at least our team, the developer relation team, what we're doing in the past week and what we're going to plan to do the next week. And uh, as well as like the conferences and the shows that we're going to show up at and maybe we can meet up and, and chat about yeah. IoT. Right. So we're trying out lots of things here. Uh, in the last week, I've been working on uh, this. So basically, this this is a uh, po this is the Pocket Beagle. This is a, a new board, $25 board from uh, beagleboard.org. And so what I did is I took our Hologram Nova, which is a open source USB based, uh, this plugs into like a, a BeagleBone Black or something like that, and refactored the open source hardware to plug right into the Pocket Beagle. And so what I've been doing is I'm kind of at the stage where I'm just testing it out. It kind of, kind of aligns with a breadboard, real simple. So I'm using a Trinket M0, using CircuitPython to just throw serial commands at this and getting it to the point where it is talking to the network. I'm still having a little bit of AT command problems, but that's where is going to be helping me out in the coming week. Yeah. So my next week is going to be, well, this week, first off, is all management stuff. It's 2018, so i got to get my budget in. So uh, my next week now, I'll finally be diving back into developer relations stuff. And my next week is going to be deemed the AT command week. Uh, so I'll be working with Chris to get that, that device going. I'm really excited to see that. And just for you all to know, we actually open source all our hardware. So we also have the Dash, and that's completely open source. And in the future, hopefully, we'll, buy, we'll build some other hardware and kind of show that off. And yeah. Uh, but on top of that, AT Week is not going to just start with that and end with that, but I'm also going to be doing a few other things. So in my hands right now, I have a PyCom board, a PyCom PyPy, uh, which has five connections, LoRa, Sigfa Sigfox, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular. And the cellular is really cool because it's the new LTE version, the Cat M1 NB. It's cellular being built for, uh, for actually things now rather than like high bandwidth usage. So it's super exciting. Uh, in the States, uh, AT and Ver AT and Ver AT and t and Verizon are the networks, and we, we, uh, our SIMs are activated on that. So I'm going to be getting this, this device going. Uh, also, another AT command one is going to be from Timothy Wu. Timothy Wu took the SIMCOM 7000 module and made uh, Arduino Shield for it. Uh, I love working with this so far. And Tim actually has a number of examples that are using hologram automatically. So that made my job a lot easier, but I'm gonna be coming out with tutorials on how to use this as well. So those are the two that are LTE uh, based, and I'll be coming out with AT commands with that. Uh, another really fun one though, we were out at CES last week, and man, tons of fun out there. Uh, it was so a crazy time. Things. Yeah, there was a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on there, but it was good yeah. to see a lot of people we knew and uh, you know, see the new things we're working on. Absolutely, one of the, one of the funnest uh, events that we were at were, was a dinner hosted by Hackster, and our friends over at Arduino were over there. So, hello. Uh, and they wanted us to get started with the GSM uh, 1400, the, the Maker 1400 board. And so I have a couple of them in the shop right now, and I will also be doing my AT command week with that. So yeah. this is this is going to be pretty simple. This is using a Sarah U201. It's going to use the same AT commands that I used to get Chris's board going. Right. Uh, and I do have one more here in my to-go container, but I've also been playing around with LoRa. Uh, this is an interesting new technology we've been trying out. It's not that new, I guess, but uh, we think it's really great for, you know, so one thing that we can do and help with LoRa, obviously it's not cellular, but it, uh, it basically allows really low power, low bandwidth communication. So one thing we've seen is doing gateways with cellular, so you could use like a Hologram Nova and a Raspberry Pi and then a uh, module like this. This is yeah. the RFM95 another Adafruit uh, breakout here. Uh, and basically I've just pl been playing around, getting it talking over uh, SPI and just trying to get things talking. So I just have two modules here uh, set up just to, uh, 
hopefully it focuses. Uh, <laughs> we'll do an overhead next time. Uh, so just trying to get it so that it, uh, they talk to each other, right? There's not even an antenna in here, but the proximity is, is enough that they did talk to each other, filling messages, and there was a uh, radio head library, it's called. Nice. So. so the thing around that that's really gonna be helpful, like Chris mentioned, is gateway technology. Uh, so I posted a gateway uh, project up on Hackster that, that has been really successful. So what we wanna do mm -hmm. is show cellular backhaul which that, that's getting the data up into the cloud right. with other technologies, LoRa being one of them, so digesting data through right. LoRa. Right, and so if you look on our, well obviously you're on our YouTube uh, if you're watching this, but we actually have some other, um, some other workshops that Benster was doing using a Wi-Fi gateway, so it was going Wi-Fi from an ESP8266 yes. to, uh, to, a, uh, to a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is, was all for the contest we're working on, and then it would throw that data back over, over uh, with Python, it would throw it back over the hologram Nova to our cellular network. So basically, you could have this thing in the field serving data to all of these uh, Wi-Fi devices. Now we're just going to do the same thing for LoRa, and you know, basically, this makes all of your projects even more mobile without, without much hassle. So that's really what we're focused on here. Yeah. So uh, speaking of the contest, maybe we should bring that up real quick. Oh yeah. So the contest is wrapping up. Uh, we did a contest. Or wrapped up. We'll see when this video comes out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So we partnered with uh, Hackster and Raspberry Pi to come out with a cellular contest uh, highlighting the Nova. We sent out over 200 kits, and that's wrapping up now. We had a phenomenal response. A great community was built off of that, and the, t the tutorials and the projects were awesome. Yeah, we're really looking yeah. forward to that. People can go and see all the projects that were actually already being used there, no. or being posted by community members. So next week, we're going to be starting judging with that. So mm -hmm. keep an eye out for that. I want to wrap up today by talking about uh, my the end of my AT week is going to wrap up on Saturday in Phoenix. I'm going to be heading out to uh, IoT Dev Fest out in Phoenix and hosting one or two workshops. I'm not sure we're finalizing it right now, but it's going to be focused all on AT commands. So this is going to be the little kit that I'll be putting together. It's a Trinket M0 from Adafruit, uh, a 2G SimCom module. They're pretty affordable. It's great for workshops. And we're going to be walking through using CircuitPython on how we could build our own AT command library and sending messages and see what we can kind of do and the neat things that we can grab off of this module. Yeah. So that's what I'll do in Phoenix. Yeah, that's what we did also at Supercon. That was a, a yes. Hackaday Supercon for us. We were out there. That was another another good workshop. So Over 40 people attended that workshop. That was, that was a great yeah. time. Right. Um, yeah. And so if, if, you, if you want to get in touch with us, you can always email us at devrel at hologram.io. Uh, we have a great forum, community.hologram.io. And we have some more developer tools coming out very soon. Some of you, if you're already in the contest, you may already be part of those tools. But we'll be rolling those out more broadly. Uh, so just hit us up anytime. You can also hit us on Twitter, Facebook, uh, really yeah. anywhere. And so. if you haven't gotten started with Hologram yet, oh, yeah. go ahead and go to hologram.io slash devplan. So what we do is we provide a free SIM to developers as well as one megabyte a month. That one megabyte doesn't seem like a lot, but actually when you're dealing with, with microcontrollers, that could be up to 5,000 messages. On average, we see about 1,500 messages a month, enough to send a message every 30 minutes, and that's for free for the rest of your life. So go ahead and head over there and sign that up, and if you ever need, uh, if you're working on a cool project, let us know. Like we are not shy on sharing promo video or promos promo and codes, yeah. yeah, free yeah. data and all that we stuff. We top up accounts like it's our job. So absolutely, <laughs> kind of, kind of. All is. right, all so, right. So that's our week. Week. That's one week. That's, yeah, that's this week, week one. We'll see how we do, and uh, definitely going to be trying to do this every week and updating you. And we'll see how much we get done week to week. You know, we're we're running fast this year. We'll see. We'll hopefully keep it going. Woo. Yeah. All right. Until next time, team. See you later.